I'm gonna tell you all my secrets, what keeps me content and grateful for life even when things get really hard. So keep watching. Your life will only be as beautiful as your most beautiful thought. No one in this world has the right to hurt you if you don't give them the permission to. Your worth is never defined by the amount of money that you have in your bank account. Remember that. A beautiful heart is more important than a beautiful face. You're a masterpiece, not a doodle. Take your time. Age is just a number. Don't ever let age hold you back from doing something that you really want to do. Because if you're currently 28 years old and you really want to do something, but because you're telling yourself you're too old, you might hold on to that dream for another 10 years only to become 38 and still try to make that dream come true. But now you have lost 10 years and you're still chasing after the same dream. So just go get it. You will never please every single person on this planet. You can do everything that they want you to do, and then they'll change their mind about you. They'll tell you to buy the blue dress, it suits you better. And when you buy the blue dress, they'll tell you, actually, the red dress looked much better on you. Or be with him, he's good for you. Oh, but he's not that good. So stop trying to please everyone, because that's just never going to happen. Beauty is truly within the eye of the beholder. Telling the truth is always better than telling a lie, because if you tell a lie, you're gonna have to make up a lot of other lies along with remembering the first lie just to uphold the first lie and that's honestly a lot of energy wasted and a lot of time wasted just to lie better to just tell the truth you really should get a good night's sleep before making a life-changing decision always treat others with kindness because you never know what someone else is going through it's really easy for people to be nice to you when things are going well in your life so don't forget the people who are good to you when things weren't all that great Good things don't just happen. You have to do things to make them happen. So go out there and make it happen. Nobody's perfect, but that's not gonna stop anybody from continuously convincing themselves and you that they are. Someone's character will naturally show over time. Whether they're good or whether they're bad, it'll eventually all come out in the end. If you plan to give something to someone, just make sure that you're not expecting anything in return. Because a lot of the times, just because you give 100% to somebody, it doesn't mean they'll even give you back 10% in return. If someone loves you, you're going to know. There will be no questioning, doubting, and hiding of any kind. Just because someone tells you that you're pretty and that you're smart doesn't mean you have to accept it. You could say thank you, but you don't have to absolutely believe in every compliment that people give you. Because when you start believing in everything that people say to you, and you believe when people tell you you are smart, you are pretty, and you're not really thinking about things in your own way, then it's really easy for you to fall into the trap of when someone tells you you're not smart, you're not pretty, and you start believing in that too. And that's not to say that you can't believe you are great. You can, as long as it's your own original thought. Youth, beauty, all of that can fade. But what's in your mind, what you've learned, your knowledge, that's forever. And no one can take it away from you. Just because somebody is older than you, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're wiser and make better life decisions. We really are just out here on our own trying to make it so in a sense we should probably cut each other some slack no matter how old we are the thing about life is that it's unpredictable and short so make it count all humans are so different not only in the way that we look on the outside but also our personalities and that's in a sense one of the most beautiful things ever like imagine mixing a color palette for a painting and there's so many different variations so many different colors and that's the different types of personalities out there it would be a really boring painting if there's very few colors there just like it would be a very boring life if there's only a few personality traits out there and everybody was the same so i think it's nice to celebrate the fact that we're all very different and i think that there is truly something about everyone that is special and it's nice to celebrate that to me it's not about what someone does for me but their actual intention behind it intentions are very important beyond what it is that they just do because for example if Somebody who is a multimillionaire giving me one dollar is very different from somebody who only has ten dollars and gives me one dollar. Even though they are technically giving the same thing, it's very different to me.
So I personally like to see things and see the actions of others while measuring that with their circumstance and their intentions. Of course, it's hard to actually guess every person's intentions because you really don't know until you're in their heads, but it gets a lot easier once you know more about that person. I think it's very important to appreciate what you can do at a certain stage in your life versus somebody else. So if you're very young right now and you're asked to do more chores around the house because the elderly in your family can't really do it, that definitely makes sense because for an elderly person to do chores like cutting up a fruit is much easier than asking them to take out the trash and sweep around the house because that takes more energy. For me, life isn't just about, okay, I'm doing a group activity and therefore I need every single person to be doing the exact same thing as me for me to feel balanced and fair. I think that it makes more sense for those that are good at doing something for them to do those activities. Or if you're very young, for you to be asked to do the more heavy lifting chores versus somebody who's older, which that would be very hard for them to do. What's meant for you will always be for you. Nobody can take it away from you. But what's not meant for you, no matter how hard you try, no matter how badly you want it, it will not be yours. Don't be sad that something is over. Smile because it happened. The people that we meet in our lives, the different relationships that we have, are kind of like us on a train. You're on that train and you're alone, but you meet a bunch of different people. So those different people, those different relationships that you meet on the train, some of them are going to get on the train and then they're going to get off. Some of them are going to be on there for a very long ride. And some people might actually be with you from the very beginning all the way to the very end of the train stop. So don't see it as just because somebody's short ride with you meant necessarily a lot less than somebody whose ride with you was much longer. All of those experiences are just part of the ride and part of the journey. You know the whole saying like have high expectations and then you end up getting disappointed? The way I see it about life is that you shouldn't have no expectations, but just expect life to be a gift. So don't expect every single day of every single hour having to be amazing. It's not going to be. But if you just expect absolutely nothing and be grateful for the good days and the bad days, then life gets a little easier. I pretty much lost track of how many bad days I've had, but I'm telling you, once I have a really, really good day, it doesn't really matter how many bad days I had because it ends up being worth it. Never ever regret loving anyone. Even if you end up getting hurt in the end, still worth loving. Once you start being transparent with yourself and honest with yourself and everybody around you, life just gets so much easier. Reflect about what you want out of life. What do you really want? What makes you truly happy regardless of what other people think? I know there is good in this world and I know there is evil in this world. I understand that it is very important to protect yourself from that evil, but at the same time, I do not believe that humans should close themselves off from the world and just stop trusting each other because it gets much darker from there and there will only be more evil when we stop forgiving each other, when we stop giving each other chances. Chances aren't doing better in life. And at the end of the day, just give yourself a little break because no matter how special you think you are or how unspecial you think you are, we are all a little bit clueless floating in space together.